we were asked to simplify by using the distributive property and combining like terms. The distributive property is shown below where we have a times the quantity b plus c equals a times b plus a times c, where we say we distributed the a, which is often referred to as multiplication across addition. Again, a times the quantity b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c. Looking at the first example, we have negative five times the quantity five x plus three. We begin by distributing the negative five, and because we have a sum of two terms in the parentheses, we will have two products. This is equal to negative five times five x plus negative five times three. And now we determine the products. Negative five times five x equals negative 25 x. Then we have plus negative five times three is equal to negative 15. Instead of writing plus negative 15, it's more common just to write minus 15. We enter negative 25 x minus 15. Next we have negative eight times the quantity negative six w squared minus nine w plus two. Notice inside the parentheses we have a summer difference of three terms, which means when we distribute, we will have three products. One, two, and three. This is equal to negative eight times negative six w squared. And then because we have a minus here, we have minus negative eight times nine w, and then plus negative eight times two. Simplifying, negative eight times negative six w squared is equal to positive 48 w squared. And then we have minus negative eight times nine w is going to be minus negative 72 w. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. This simplifies to plus 72 w. And then we have plus negative eight times two, which is plus negative 16 or just minus 16. We enter 48w squared plus 72w minus 16. Next we have negative or the opposite of negative t squared plus 6t minus seven. To simplify using distribution, we can include a factor of one here and then think of distributing negative one. So we'll have one, two, three products. When we distribute negative one. This is equal to negative one times negative t squared plus negative one times six t, and then minus negative one times seven. And now we determine the products. Negative one times negative t squared is equal to positive t squared. And then we have plus negative one times six t, which would be plus negative six t or minus six t. And then we have minus negative one times seven, which would be minus negative seven or plus seven. This simplifies to t squared minus six t plus seven. Now if we go back and think of this as the opposite of negative t squared plus six t minus seven, we would change the sign of each term inside the parentheses, which notice is the result. The result is positive t squared minus six t plus seven. And now for the last example, we have five eighths times the quantity one third x plus one fourth. We distribute five eighths, which means we'll have two products, one and two. This is equal to five eighths times one third x plus five eighths times one fourth. Before multiplying, notice how there are no common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator, and therefore we can multiply knowing the product will not simplify. Five eighths times one third x is equal to five twenty fourths x. And then we have plus five eighths times one fourth is equal to five thirty seconds. So we enter five twenty fourths x plus 530 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.